Taking a look at news out of Beacon Hill now, the Healy administration recently released a plan centered around environmental justice. And 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming explains what was published and how it could affect parts of Western Massachusetts. The administration released its first environmental justice framework, which is designed to bring equity to communities across the Commonwealth, including those most impacted by climate change. The state's environmental branch, the Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs, or EEA, released the state's first ever environmental justice strategy. The strategy is being looked at as a roadmap for EEA and its agencies to include when putting in place programs and policies. Multiple communities in Western Massachusetts are environmental justice populations, like ones found in Springfield, Chicopee, Westfield, and Holyoke. The new environmental justice policy directed all EEA agencies to create their own environmental justice strategies. The thought process is that this is a starting point and will continue to develop through input, especially through engagement with environmental justice communities. Governor Moore Healy said in a statement, we are addressing systemic environmental injustice by incorporating practices based on equity and inclusion into our everyday work. This strategy is a significant step in identifying concrete ways to increase public participation and ensure the voices of marginalized communities are at the table. The governor went on to say that environmental justice is at the heart of the state's climate goals. The plan also includes several aspects like community engagement and language access. Now this plan is being looked at as a living document, one that will be updated every three years. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.